Hi, I'm Hector, and today it's all about using the reference layer in Procreate. I'm going to get into the what's, when's, and why's, and definitely some pros and cons. You know, once you get the gist of this tool, you're going to want to use it a lot. I'm telling you. Oh, and if you feel up to it, there's a pro tip towards the end. So let's get started with reference layer in Procreate. What is it? So if I had to describe to you what a reference layer was, and it goes something like this. A reference layer is made up of a, a layer that contains line art. And think of it as a solid boundary just for color. So make sure there's no gaps in it. Otherwise, you're going to get an overspill. Kind of like this. Oh. And the reason that happened was because it had a gap. It was almost a hairline. So when do we use it? Well, there's two drawing styles that come to mind. One is for cartoons, and the other one is anime. <laughs> and I'm not much of an anime artist, so, you know, I dabble more in cartooning, but eh, here it goes. Right, so let's go ahead and make a reference layer. Let's go up to the top here. Where the layers are, tap on the double squares. That's going to open up, and we have layer one chosen by default. Tap one time on the plus sign. Tap. That opens up layer two. Now, I like to drag layer two underneath layer one. You don't have to do this, but I just like doing it. And so this is where our color is going to be. It's blank. And up at the top here, boom. Activate layer one, tap it another time, boom. And then choose reference. There we go. And that's pretty much our typical lineup. We have a reference layer. In this case, it's layer one. And layer two is blank. And that's where our color and our detail is gonna go. Because it's so easy just to add color. We're gonna go up to the top where the color is, tap it once. After we choose layer two, let's go there. Boom, that's activated. That's where our color is going. Go back up to the color, tap it once. Boom. Now we're gonna choose, well, before we choose a color, see this line right here, this top line? Just, it's a handle. Just tap and drag. There you go. Place it anywhere you like. I'm going to place it right here. Why are you putting it there? Because isn't it where it was originally? I mean, look. Tap there and click here. There it is. What's the difference? Well, let me show you. Boom. When you tap here to this palette icon, tap it once. Boom. Now you have your palettes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go tap and drag there we go and this is why the palette is over here tap and drag now we're going to go to the butterfly tap drag tap and drag oh let's do this one and drag and that's a good thing about swatch drop if we changed our mind and we decided to go with a different color uh maybe something like this it's really easy. Oh, kind of cool. Just leave it there. Now, what I wanted to show you was, this is the mistake a lot of people make. It's so easy to color drop on a reference layer. Let me show you. Tap and hold. Tap and hold. But check it out. It's there. Now, if we want to add detail, like in this case, I'm going to use an alpha lock. So let me go ahead and do that. Tap it once, choose alpha lock, boom. I have a darker version of that color. Let me just close this. Choose a brush, start painting. Now this is what I want to show you. What we want is we want a dark outline like this. This is, this is black, but it's already, it's painting on the outline so that's not going to work because that's not the effect we want reason it doesn't work is because we color dropped on the reference layer and we added an alpha lock so let's go ahead and just undo everything add an alpha lock to layer two so now let's get a sample of this color so the way i do it is i like to tap and hold and I get a sample of the color. And if you look at the top corner right there, 
is going to change when I let go. Boom. There you go. Now I tap it, go to disk, and I just choose a darker version of that color like that. Happy with that. Now we go to brush. Tap. We're going to use soft brush and it's under airbrushing and uh, it's a pro grade original. So we all got it. And dimensions are the same. I think it was something like 5% and 75%. Light source is going to be up there again. And this part is going to be the part that's going to be shadowy. Like that. Like so. And like that. Okay, now if I go ahead and expand it again, I zoom into it, it is black, it is black. We are golden. Let's choose a lighter version of this. Once again, tap and hold for a sec, get a sample color right there, tap it once, lighter version of that color, that's pretty good. But let's just add a little bit of yellow, that's good. We just paint over this way. This light source is up over here. All right, let's just do a little bit more on the dark side. Let's go back here and let's just choose Let's go a little dark there. Now let's go to the butterfly. Sample color. Keep your eye there. So I tap and hold. And I release. That's our color. Tap it once a darker version of this that would be good maybe a little more light sources up here just paint away let's go with a lighter version of that color that's good let's go up to the top right up here Just light brush strokes. Let's go just a little lighter. Top color. Go there. Now seal the deal. Some highlight. And finish it off. Go. All right, that looks like that works. Next, we're going to create a new layer. Tap the layer palette once, tap. And now tap on the plus icon once, boom. That's gonna create a new layer, layer three. Tap anywhere once, boom. Fly out menu comes out and we're gonna choose clipping mask, tap. In this case, I'm gonna use a pattern. So let's go to textures, decimals, start painting away. Now with these brushes, this is a Procreate brush, you can't really go back. And let me show you. If I was to go, oh, there's not enough here, and I went back here, the alignment's off. So let's go back and undo, 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 undo. One fluid motion. And just don't let up. That's good enough. Now, what I like about Clipping Mask is that we can use stuff like a blend mode. So we can see where the end is, tap it once. And a blend mode is this stuff right here. So we can blend it into something. So let's go with something like this. And then this is the opacity. And just slide it over just a little bit. Just to give a little, little bit of a texture. 
There we go. Now we're going to do the butterfly and just start brushing away. And there you go. So what do we do? Tap here. We created a reference layer from layer one. Then we, on layer two, we added the color and also the shadows and highlights. Layer three became a clipping mask. That's where we added the detail. And here's a bonus I was talking about. If we tap on layer one and tap on the plus sign, let's do it a couple times. One, two, three, three times, maybe four times. There we go. And we tap here and we wanted to add a different color. So let's go to layer four, tap on color. Let's go yellow and somewhere around there. And we do a layer drop. Boom. How about layer five? Boom. Back to the palettes. Layer six. Boom. Back to the palettes. Layer seven. Did you notice that we had one, two, three, four, five layers, and it was all linked to just this one right here. Now, this is the big deal when you're using a lot of color and you want to play with stuff. This is, I mean, this really is a big deal. So you can build on it. You can keep going. And to know that you can just keep going on and creating all this cool stuff, all these different colors, and you still have the ability to do blend mode. So now you got something like that. Now that's really cool. So that's the pro that you get to use all these different layers with all these different blend modes and opacities and with an alpha lock and a clipping mask. And we could just go on and on and on how much we can build this thing. So it's the same old story. Procreate limits the number of layers that you can use in an illustration. Just be frugal when you do this stuff. And the pros, I guess you figured it out. When you want clean lines, a reference layer is gold. <laughs> it really is. So reference layer, is it for you? Yeah, I kind of think so. I, I see this in your future. Why not? It's just another thing you can do to make your work look really super cool. And it doesn't have to be the whole image. I mean, this could be an eye. It could be, you know, a horn. It could be, gosh, damn, anything. It could be anything. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe. Gotta go.